Do you want to learn how to make your text pop up in style while you're talking? Well, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your ordinary text look way cooler and pop up as you speak. And the best part is that it only takes a few minutes. All of that and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions and workflows that will help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're going to go ahead and start making this text pop up effect. You can see right here in my timeline that I have a simple background. Literally, you can put anything here. It could be a picture, a video. It doesn't matter. And then down here, we have our audio. And if we just give it a quick listen, you'll hear that it's just a piece of my intro. And I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So ultimately, I want my text to pop up as I say the words. But the thing is, is I don't want it to look all boring in one font and stuff. I want it to like, you know, pop and just look good. So to do that, the first thing we need, of course, is a text layer. So I'm going to open up the effects library and then under toolbox, I'm going to go down to the titles and then grab the text plus and then drag it above the background. Next, I'm going to cut it down like this so it matches the length of all of the other clips. So it looks all nice and symmetrical and stuff. Your timeline's got to have some order got to look good. So here's what we're going to do in the inspector tab. We're going to go ahead and bring down the size of the text because it's really big. Then scroll down and under V anchor, I'm going to anchor it to the top and then scroll down to H anchor and anchor it to the left. So now we've anchored it to the upper left corner of the text. Next, you'll move up and pick whatever font you want. So for my font, I'm picking Gotham light because it looks cool and also Batman, but mainly it looks cool. <laughs> So next, I'm going to go ahead and type out the sentence that I want to pop up. Also, you don't want to have more than four rows of text because quite honestly, it just looks cramped. So less is going to be better. So now that I have my text typed out, you can see that it is positioned horribly. We're going to fix that. But uh, first, I'm going to do something that a lot of you just get nervous about. I'm going to go into the Fusion tab, but don't freak out because literally I am not going to add a single node. I'm just going to be using it to style our text. So please just trust me. It's going to be great. So now that we're in Fusion, the first thing that I'm going to do is turn on the single viewer by going up here and just clicking this button. And then I'm just going to give myself a little more room by dragging this down. Next, right click on the viewer and go down to options and then uncheck the checkered underlay. So this is just going to make your background black so that you can see the text easier. And then right click again and go under guides and hit show guides. So now we have our safety boundaries up. The next thing we're going to do is click on our text and grab the anchor point right here and bring it up to the top left of the safety boundary just like this. Now in the inspector tab under size, we're going to bring it up until my biggest text line touches this outer safety border. Now we want to make each line of text just as long as our longest line right here. But I can't just simply highlight one word and increase the size of that one word. It just doesn't work. So what I can do is right click under styled text and click on character level styling. Then you can see that our modified tab actually turns on. So go ahead and click on that. And now what you're going to do is highlight each line of text one at a time by clicking and dragging like this and then bring the size up so that the end of the word is touching the safety border like this. And now move on to the second line and highlight it just like you did the first time. But the thing is, I really don't want this line of text to be as big as it's probably going to be. So what I can do is go over to the transform tab right here and under spacing, I'm just going to bring that up just a little so that each letter is spaced out a little more. And then I can go back and bring up the size more so that it touches the safety borders. But because we did the spacing, it's not going to be as big as it originally was going to be. You can see that our line spacing is just a little off right here. What we can do is go over to vertical and bring it up or down depending on where it's off. So we can make sure that our text spacing doesn't get messed up with all of the different changes that we're doing to it. So now once you've done it for one, you can do it for the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. What we want to do now is change the fonts of certain words and add some color to it. So if we want to make the word weekly have a different font and color, 
I can go ahead and highlight it and go to fonts and then I'll just change it to whatever I want. So I want it thin. But by doing that, you can see that it messed up the size of my font. So I just have to go ahead and increase the size a little more and make sure that it's centered. Then once we've changed the font, we can go to the shading tab right here and change the color just like this. And now just do that over and over and over again for every single word you want to change. So now once you've got your text looking the way that you want it, we're gonna go back to the edit tab so once you're back in the edit tab, what I'm gonna do is click on the text layer and then go to the inspector tab. And in the inspector tab, I'm gonna go to right on and grab the end and bring it all the way back to the start so that there is nothing on the screen just like this. So now to make your text pop up when the word is said, you gotta go to the first word. And I make, so once you find the beginning of that first word, what you'll do is add a keyframe under right on and then move forward one frame and grab the right on slider and drag it just a little until our first word pops up just like this. Then I'm gonna move forward and find the next word I say and add a keyframe again in the beginning of the word and then move forward one frame and drag the right on slider out a little more until that next word is revealed. So you're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. You'll find the beginning of the word, you'll add a keyframe, you'll move forward one frame and reveal the word. So now let's take a look at what we've done. And I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials. All right, so now you know how to make your text pop up in style. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share it with your friends so that they can have their text pop up in style too. So as you guys know, I'm all about helping you level up your editing skills. But one of the most valuable tools that I have in my pocket is Epidemic Sound. I've personally been using them pretty much for the past year and a half for all of my client work. And trust me, they've got a lot of stuff. They have like 30,000 songs and 60,000 high quality sound effects. So if you wanna take your video's sound to the next level, you can try Epidemic Sound free right now for 30 days. So click the link down below to try that out. Anyways, if you want more videos like this, then click the top playlist for all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click the bottom playlist for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.